Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo Legion Pro 5i. This is going to be the 16 inch or the Gen 9 version. I'm going to take you on a teardown or disassembly tour and show you many of the main components you can reach after getting inside the computer. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're going to then flip it over to access the bottom case. So you have 10 screws. You got these four along the bottom half, these four along the top, and these two in the middle. After removing all of those screws, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools are definitely going to scratch up your case a lot more than a plastic one will. So take your plastic pry tool, probably best to start up here and pry off, go around the seam and pry off that bottom case. Go nice and slow, but firm. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components, but be nice and firm. Go all the way around. And if you get stuck in one section, just leave it. Go around to the other side and continue from the other direction. After you get your bottom case off, this is what we're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a quick side point, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to help you avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you guys need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, there'll be a link above. I'll also have it below in the description. It'll show you some tools and supplies that I use in my shop. Now, before I do anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the battery. It makes it safer to work on the other components. Now here's the battery here across the bottom of the screen. There are five screws that are holding this battery down. You got two here, two down here near the bottom, and one is actually hidden underneath this metal guard for one of your solid state drives. Um, it's, it, it, it's underneath there. So you've got to take off this shield for your solid state drive first. There's three screws in it, one here on the right, here down bottom left, and here up near the fan. Once you get that shield off, you'll be able to access that screw right in there. After taking the screws out of your battery, there's the battery plug right here. Some of you may see this black piece of tape on it. Just peel that back and you'll be able to wiggle that out of that port. As with most things in a computer, try not to pull on the wires if you can help it, but just manipulate that plug. So put your fingernails on either side of the plug or a pry tool maybe and wiggle that out of that port is the best way other than pulling on the wires. For those of you that want the battery information, this was a 15.44 volt battery, 80 watt hour, and the part number from Lenovo is L22B4PC0. I'll have that information below in the description. And just as a reminder, all the components we're gonna go over, all of the replacement parts and the upgrade parts for this specific model will be included in that same link I told you about earlier with all the uh, tools and, and supplies. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed or unplugged, we can proceed deeper into the computer. The next thing I'll shout out is your storage, uh, your solid state drives, and your memory or your RAM. So the first storage device was right here under this metal guard. Right here is your M.2 solid state drive port for one of the shorter solid state drives. Uh, your next M.2 port is under this guard on this side. So you would take it off the exact same way, a screw here, screw here, and a screw here, and that will remove this metal guard. And that will reveal this M.2 port here for one of the longer solid state drives uh, that you'll have stock in there. So to get this out, you would undo this single screw here. The solid state drive could then be released from this port. On this side, the screw hole would be right there. About the storage in this computer, uh, these take either 2242, or 2280 Gen 4 solid state drive. So that's cool, you can put Gen 4 in, in, in here. So I will have several upgrade options in that link below. I'll try to put a 500 gigabyte, a terabyte, and a two terabyte um, option for each of these M.2 ports for you guys. As far as the memory, that's right here. This is another metal guard shield type thing here, only it's not screwed down. So you can wiggle that off or you can use a pry tool to get under the side of it and, and pop it off. After you do, you'll reveal these two RAM ports right here. So the way RAM works, guys, is a spring-loaded metal arm on either side. The way to get the RAM off is to gently pry those apart away from the RAM stick. 
the RAM stick will then release. And in many times it'll pop up a little bit so you can slide it out. And then to get the RAM back in, there's a long end of the port and a short end of the port. So you can only get that RAM in one way. And then once you get it in there nice and flush, you just press down in the center and these two metal arms will latch onto it and secure it in place. Now, as far as the RAM for this computer goes, I believe it's a max of 32 gigabytes. This computer takes DDR5 at 500, I'm sorry, 5,600 megahertz. So if you want to max it out, which I always recommend maxing out RAM in a computer, it's a fairly cheap upgrade to max out your performance. Um, I'll include a couple 32 gigabyte kits in that link below. So that'll be two 16 gigabyte sticks. I'll have two kits there, and then I'll have one that's just a single 16 gigabyte stick if you're looking to just re replace it or upgrade a little bit. But that'll be, again, below in that link. The next thing I'll shout out is your speakers. You got this one toward the left of your screen, this one toward the right of your screen. Uh, this wire comes down here underneath your touchpad assembly, connects them together, and it plugs into the motherboard right here. These are very flimsy wires on speakers usually, guys. So again, don't pull on the wires if you can help it but get that plug out with your fingernails or a pry tool or a pair of pliers. But if, if you can help it, don't pull on those wires. Next thing I'll shout out is your CMOS battery toward the left of the computer here. Uh, this little CMOS battery is wrapped in black electrical tape and it's held down just by double-sided tape. So if you need to replace this, you can pop that off pretty easily. If you're here to just reset BIOS with this operation, you don't need to physically remove the battery, just unplug it from the motherboard right here. And after leaving it unplugged for 15, 20 seconds, in most cases, that should be sufficient to reset your BIOS settings. However, most of the time, this will not reset your BIOS password. Keep that in mind. It'll only reset your system settings for BIOS. Uh, over here, you have your Wi-Fi card. It's held down by a single screw, just like your solid state drives. And these two black and gray antenna wire, those just snap onto it. So to get those off, you would just snap those right up and out of the computer, um, undo that screw, and the Wi-Fi card will slide out to the right-hand side. To get it, your heatsink assembly is up here. That's probably the last thing that I'll shout out that is the heatsink assembly. It's pretty large in this computer. You have your two big fans on either side. You have your heatsink pipes coming over your CPU, GPU, vid card. They, they really did a nice job just covering everything with this heatsink, and of course, quite a lot of thermal paste under there as well. So if you're looking to take your fans off, you've got two screws on either fan. And then this one plugs into the motherboard straight in to the motherboard right there from the top. Same thing over here. So just like your speaker wires, fan wires are very fragile. So get that plug out of there. Don't pull on those wires. Um, if you're looking to clean this out thoroughly or reapply thermal paste, you've got these three screws over this section of your heat sink. And then these four over this section and that'll gain you access to all this under here. Um, also guys, keep in mind, if you're looking to reapply thermal paste, um, I'll have a tutorial link above, also below in the description. It'll be a quick tutorial on how to reapply thermal paste. You definitely don't wanna leave the old stuff on. So clean all the old stuff off before you put the new thermal paste on. Don't put too much thermal paste on. And bear in mind that not all thermal paste are created equal. You got cheap stuff and you got good stuff. So um, keep that in mind when doing that operation. And again, I'll have replacement parts and some thermal paste in that link that I mentioned earlier. So that's most of the major components you can access um, by opening up this computer. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.